Welcome back, I'm Andrea Jean, and this channel is dedicated to cleaning and organizing for busy women. So if that is you, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the community. Today we are doing an entire house, or pretty close to an entire house speed cleaning routine. I wanna get as much done around here as I possibly can. And after a long week, my house is feeling just a little bit overwhelming. So if you're cleaning alongside me, awesome, let's do this together. And if not, by the end of this video, I hope to provide you with a buttload of motivation to get some things crossed off your list and just make your home feel a little bit more organized in a place that you never want to leave. Now that we got all those toys put away, it's time to vacuum. And I'm doing a ton of vacuuming in this video because after a long week, I just feel like my floors are really dirty and they could just use a good once over here. Once we're done here, we're going to head on into my mudroom slash laundry room and work on getting that all tidied up too. This part of our house gets messy so fast because we always use our garage door and this is the first landing for all items that are coming into the house. And I've said this before, but for those of you that are new here, that sink we don't actually use. I think I used it a couple times when we painted some bedrooms in our house to wash all the paint supplies, but that's it. My hope is someday to get some sort of seated shelving area there and make it a bit more functional for what our family actually uses. No, I am not a quick change artist. In fact, as it goes with the family and kids, plans get interrupted. I was really hoping to do a good, good long clean the other day, but there were other things going on. And so here I am the following day, finishing up all the things that I wasn't able to get to. So that's mom life. Give it a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about here. I mean, ultimately I like to have it one and done, but that's not how things always go. Now we're moving down to the basement. We did have some company recently, so I just wanna get this all cleaned up and then we'll move on into our downstairs guest bedroom and get those sheets changed and just new fresh linens.
For this particular cleaning session, I was able to listen to part of a book on Audible. Now, oftentimes I end up listening to some music and I'll tell you why. You know, when your kids are around and you're cleaning, it can be really tricky to also listen to what the story is saying and then attend to your kids or what's going on there. So today I only have one little nugget on hand and he was just playing so nicely. So I was able to whip open that audiobook. So I'm always looking for ways that I can squeeze those in so that I can just keep maintaining information, learning information, and I always just like to, you know, challenge myself. So here we are in our guest bedroom. So we're going to get this all cleaned up. And honestly, this bedroom is rarely ever used. I think someday it may be uh, my daughter's bedroom, but we'll see. For now, it just kind of lies dormant. And when we have guests come, we will whip it into shape. Are still here in my basement and this is a hallway that leads to my office but the cat room there on the right there's also storage in there but my cat likes to hang out there her foods in there her cat litter box but also on the left hand side is another storage room and then a toy room so it's kind of this secret um, hallway corridor in our basement which is nice because there are double doors so that when I'm working um, my kids can't go back there or be disruptive and so they're pretty they're very respectful at this time because they know when mama's working they got to keep it down. So now we are upstairs here and I'm going to tidy up starting here in the master bedroom, get this bed made, and then we'll move on to some other fun things. So you can see three baskets of laundry there. You all, I had way more than three baskets. I think it actually totaled six. We had some other baskets around the house and my husband, he actually folded it all. Um, now I just need to put it away, but that laundry piled up so quickly. I mean, where does it all come from? I'm sure you all ask yourself that same question. <laughs>
so much for joining me here today. Be sure to check out these two videos right here for some additional cleaning and organizing motivation, and we will see you all in the next one. Take care.